Let's solve this system by using the graphing method. To use the graphing method, we'll just generate some points, graph the lines, and see where they intersect. I like to graph by plotting intercepts. So we consider the line x plus 2y is equal to 6. Let's generate a t-table. And let's find our intercepts. If we let x equal 0 in this equation, the x disappears. We have the statement 2y is equal to 6, or y is equal to 3. If we let y equal 0, we have the statement x is equal to 6. And so we have our x-intercepts for that line. Let's look at our second equation and generate x and y-intercepts for it as well. If x is equal to 0, we have the statement y is equal to negative 7. If y is equal to 0, we have the statement negative 2x is equal to negative 7. Dividing by that negative 2, x is 7 halves, or we can write that as 3 and 1 half. Now, it may bother some to work with those fractions, so if you would rather graph the second line using the slope-intercept form, you're welcome to do that, and I'll show you that as well. To write this equation, negative 2x plus y is equal to negative 7 in slope-intercept form, we simply move that negative 2x to the other side of the equation. y is equal to 2x minus 7 is its slope-intercept form. Now let's graph these equations. We have the line x plus 2y equals 6 and its x and y intercepts. We have the line negative 2x plus y is equal to negative 7 as well as its x and y intercepts and we even have its slope intercept form. <coughs> now I can see that in this second t table I'm going to have a value as as far down the y-axis as negative 7. And so, let's be a little creative as we uh, uh, write the numbers on our x and y axes. Let's count by twos in each case. 2, 4, 6, 8. So I'm going to go down negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8. That should be far enough. Let's plot points. For this first equation, Its y-intercept is 0, 3. Its x-intercept is at 6, 0. And let's connect the points. That is the line x plus 2y is equal to 6. Now for our second equation, it goes through the point 0, negative 7. And the point 3 and a half, 0. Now let's just count over to 3 and a half. 1, 2, 3, and a half, halfway between 3 and 4. And we can connect those points as well. And that is the line negative 2x plus y is equal to negative 7. For those of you using the slope-intercept form, it has a uh, y-intercept of negative 7, a slope of 2, or you might think of that as 2 over 1. So get to, to get to the next point on the line, from that point, we can move up 2 and over 1. Up 2 over 1 would lead us to that point on the graph and we could connect those. That is the point 1, negative 5. Now, we were asked to find the solution to this system. The solution is this point where those lines intersect. And it appears that that solution is at the point x equal 4 and y equal 1. So I would estimate that this solution is at 4, 1.